Okay, the title is kind of a stretch, but it's still a cool movie. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Justice League versus Team Titans. Like I said in the beginning, the title is kind of a stretch. They don't fight for long periods of time. Anyway, the Justice League is stopping some criminals and Damien is there, but he's put on crowd control, which upsets him, of course. At some point, he does his own thing. Batman is like, yo, you have to be a team player. You gotta listen. Everybody has their part to play. Damien is like, I'll do what I want. So they drop him off with the Titans. Damien is not a team player. So when he gets there, everybody is trying to be welcoming. And Damien's like, get away from me. I don't, I'm the man. I'll do what I want. At some point, he does start to bond with them specifically with raven you know they, they they talk and at one point they do go to like a carnival and hang out and enjoy each other and you can see damien changing a little bit on the other side superman gets possessed by this demon and you know he's superman he's unlocked batman realizes it and they start piecing together what's going on they come to the conclusion raven has something to do with it the Justice League goes over there and they like, listen, we need the girl because things are going down. Her father's trying to get out and we need to whatever. We need to protect her, take her away. We're the Justice League. We need to do it. And Robin has been bonding with the Titans. He's like, nah, you ain't taking her. And then Batman is like, yo, we taking her. Robin steps up like, yo, no. And that's the clash that they have. Justice League versus Teen Titans. It's not a very long battle a couple of members of the just league get possessed and they do fight and it's really not a close fight at all because you know it's the justice league but you we watch robin become a team player we watch him become a leader as he helps lead the titans to you know stopping raven's dad from trying to get out of the, get out of his prison and destroy everything and it's a it's a cool watch spending time with the titans at one point because in this new Justice League, Cyborg is with the Justice League, but they switch it up and they let Cyborg hang out with the Teen Titans. And that's just a, a little cool thing that they do. And he spends time with them and he's like, man, y'all some young kids, but you know, Cyborg is still very young. At, he mentions like, it's cool not being the youngest one around, um, but the Titans are cool. Like, like Blue Beetle is there and it was cool seeing him after, you know, watching the movie. Uh, Beast Boy is cool, didn't know his name was Garfield. Uh, the action is, is is fun, and Damien steps up as a, a team player and a leader for the Titans. Uh, Batman and everybody notices it and respects him for that. Um, it's an enjoyable movie. It's not an all-out battle of Justice League versus the Teen Titans. It's kind of like how it was like Batman versus Robin, and they, they really only fought one time. But the title gets you drawn in to expect more, but go in not expecting some huge fight that's going on in terms of like dc animated stuff it's in the middle tier but i still enjoy most of these movies anyway so if you get a chance i think it's on hbo max check out justice league versus teen titans if you saw the movie let me know what you thought about it thanks for watching thanks for